Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocket Guys. Today we are going to take a look at some trades you guys have sent me recently and there is an item in this video which I have never traded with before. Before we get started, if you're ever looking for some discounted Rocket League items and credits for much cheaper than the item shop, head over to RL Exchange. They offer the most reliable place to buy loads of different tradable items like Phoenix, White Dracos and even Alpha Cat. They can deliver items to any platform and you can pay with loads of different payment methods. And with a 5 star Trustpilot rating, they are sure to have any items you could want. Check out RL Exchange from the link in the description and use code GUYS at checkout to get 3% off every purchase. So Devo sent this trade in where he bought a white hellfire for 2600 credits and I realised this gold explosion came out a while ago, it was very unstable to start with and then I've ignored it since. But looking closer into some of the colours I see quite a few people making some nice profit with this painted black market. With the white variant people seem to be paying between 2 and 400 credits under minimum which is pretty normal for an item in the upper end of the 2000s. People seem to be selling these for around minimum to mid price which is pretty decent as well because you can easily buy them for 250 credits under minimum and then it's basically 300 credits profit from one trade. The black variant seems pretty similar with people paying 200 or 300 under minimum, however on Xbox as I'm recording this it is quite unstable and I'm not sure why, but for the most part the painted hellfires are stable. If you look at the all time grass for the popular colours, on some platforms they have barely changed in value since the end of last year. One thing I really don't understand with this item is that, usually the black and white variants are the most expensive, often by a large margin, but with the painted hellfires they are all pretty much the same value and cobalt is currently more expensive than white. I don't have any idea why it is like this, it could be something to do with there being little supply of them on the market so they're all as rare as each other, they all look quite nice so it could be a case of the community as a whole just valuing them at the same price, I don't know but if anyone has any ideas let me know in the comment section. I just want to quickly mention that you can now join the black standard giveaway over on our discord server as a thank you for 7000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe and join the server from the link in the description for a chance to win. There has been one unpainted card that has been incredibly popular on the market since its release and that is the Fennec. I've always thought one day that it'll lose popularity and in some ways that's true because it used to be worth over double the price it is now, but it is still more in demand than ever and is still one of the best items to trade with in the game and most of you will be able to afford this card to start trading with it. Marin managed to buy an unpainted Fennec for 300 credits on PC which is 50 under minimum and this is a great price to pay. Any less than 50 under minimum and you will really struggle to find trade but paying minimum price often doesn't give you enough range to make a good amount of profit. Phoenix are one of the best items for getting item overpays with and that's because it is one of the only good unpainted cards that needs to be traded for. With the Octane or Dominus everyone can use them for free but if someone wants the Fennec to use in game they have to buy it and it is often the non-traders that want to use the card just to play with so they're not bothered about paying extra to get the card quicker. I have a great example from Big Spies who got an insane overpay for a Fennec on Xbox. The Interstellar alone is pretty much double the price of the Fennec and then all those exotics and stuff brings this offer up to 1500 credits at least. This is why when selling Fennex the best thing to do is ask for pretty much the maximum price in credits or ask for offers. That way you'll be sent item offers by people and you can choose to accept or decline these otherwise you will get a decent amount of credits. If you buy the item for 50 under minimum and sell it for maximum that's 150 credits profit which is still really good for an item that is so affordable. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful please consider subscribing with notifications on and if you want to support us use code RLTPRICES in the item shop for some cheddar cheese.